City and, and Dini, if they are to have a future in this competition, the sort of, what you guys have called it, sloppiness that they showed in the first half, none of this stuff can happen again. Yeah, I'd pin my hopes that they can't play as badly for another 45 minutes. We've seen some uh, teams uh, out of depth uh, in the Champions League campaign, but this was probably as bad a 45 minutes as I've seen of any team. And for a team of that standard with these players, 11 internationals on the pitch, if you see some of these mistakes, it's got nothing to do with not knowing whether to play or whether to pass up from the rack or play long. These are just basic mistakes, lack of concentration. And we see De Bruyne, one of the best players on the ball. Look at this. This is just not good enough. Yeah, they've been devoid of energy with and without the ball from, from minute one. Uh, here again, Clichy looking for a ball down the line. Touched on early Aguero, maybe coming short there, but can he run in behind the stretch? And I don't think they've been in their box once. He definitely hadn't had a shot. Again, Stone stepping in here. Um, just a hopeful ball long. That's not the way Man City play. Sane, again, totally different from, from what we expect from him. And this sums it up for me. Uh, early on, this clip here, uh, Silva runs off the back of, of Sterling. And they've been running off the back of their players all night. Just that bit of desire to run forward. They haven't had it. And at the minute, there's only one winner. Um, if City, which they have to do, come out and play now, I think Monaco could, could really, really hurt them. Well, Eamon, what changes this for City? Oh, well, I think just go back to basics, passing and movement. Good passing, good movement, but press high up the field. Uh, and, but it basically starts with good passing, good movement, and get your rhythm, your tempo. That's what starts it. And then you put pressure on Monaco. Um, it's all to play for now. It's huge. But there's no sign so far that Monaco have lost their bottle or are thinking about you know protecting the lead. They, they keep going for it. But as this second half unfolds, they may become protective of that lead and that may cause yeah, a, lot of, a lot of youngsters there. Do you, do you, okay, can City, will City turn this around? Well, I hope they do turn it around and I think they will turn it around because psychologically it's a different situation now. Monaco is in the driving seat. They went out in the first half knowing we've got to score at least two goals to go through. Now they are through. Um, and obviously now they've the, uh, got the favourite tag. Uh, don't want to say City got nothing to lose. Uh, I still fancy City to score uh, they may need to score twice to go through uh, with the away goal rule, but I still fancy City because, as I said, I pin my hopes that you can't play that badly for, for another 45 minutes. All right, well, it's a high